Today is Monday, June 6, 2022. We're at 25191 Maple Brook Drive in Southfield at uh, TH Management Condos. Uh, we're currently in the basement of, of, of condo number 25191. And <coughs> we're at, there's a dry master sump pump down here. Uh, this take care, takes care of all of the uh, condos in this on the street, uh, and the neighbor was having some uh, water in his basement, some issues with that, and we're here to check out, see if it's the pump, or if there's some drainage issues uh, with the sump discharge line. Uh, we did open up this uh, clean out, and it was completely backed up with water, as you can see this bucket's all filled. Uh, so we're going to cable our camera. Uh, we did cable this, and I, we think we cleared it. Um, so this is going to be the camera, the diagnostic color for the camera. All right, right here, we have a little bit of a belly, and we go into corrugated piping. Uh, we come out of the belly, and it looks like. We're going uphill at this point. And now it levels out. As you can see, this pipe is not clear. Uh, it all just ran down. Looks like we have a fitting here, uh, and we changed to looks like PVC. We're gonna see if we can make this bend. As you can see on the left hand side, that is PVC. All right, there was a pretty good view um, of the PVC drain line. We weren't able to make that turn due to the corrugated to PVC transition, um, but it did. It was open and flowing and clear. So at this point, this will conclude our televise. Um, we would still recommend a replacement of the Drymaster sump pump as it's 30 years old and uh, it needs quite a bit of power to get through all these valleys and stuff. It would just be beneficial for a brand new unit. But our cabling seems to have, seems to have taken care of uh, whatever was stuck in those valleys. And it is open and clear at this point in time.